I'm Amanda Cullen, and this is the set of season two of Race by Wolves. Season two is expansive relative to season one. We have literally traversed the planet to land in the tropical zone with the acid ocean hybrid kinds of plants. It is really a, a tropical zone that defies its own name. Our tropical zone, you know, some of it's more of an oasis. I mean, it's not your lush green. So what does lush look like in a Ridley world? And the one thing he always said, he's like, not colorful. It is uh, beautiful, but dangerous. Come along, children. Her new home awaits. These two parents, they were on a much harder area to survive in. The environment was much harsher and it seemed to be getting worse. All the while, they always, you know, they kept themselves going with the dreams of this other part of the planet, this very bountiful, beautiful part where survival would be easy and they could spend more time, you know, living their life and not spend every second of every day just staying alive. So it has a lot of, you know, resonance and, and, and importance to them in terms of this, this kind of goal they've always had for the family. And now uh, they're here, you know, and it's almost uh, one of those too good to be true sort of moments. Probably the most colorful element of our world is the fruit. And I think this is where we just really went to town with fantasy. We've tried to get a lot of variety into the types of fruit that we have. Some of the shapes are sort of almost recognizable, but we've changed colors and changed the scale of things. We just sort of started working on all different types of colors that we could see. And then when we went into the finer details, when they were choosing all the different types of fruits, then we knew the Vita fruit needed to have like a red look and they wanted the inside to be yellow so that it could pop against the landscapes. I'm so lucky and so blessed to be working with the caliber of talent in both behind and in front of the camera on this production. And I think that is reflected on what audiences see on screen. Nothing feels like it's a half done. It's always very practical running set. This is a beach that is set on the tropical zone, which is the new area that we are residing in, which has a lot of white ocean and mountains and jungle, with things that we've, we haven't explored before. You know, the first season was very barren and very kind of uh, prehistoric. And now we're kind of working in a very new and exciting world. So yeah, very exciting. Season two, just mind-blowing. I didn't expect it, but what we tend to forget as well is that we're on a different planet. I love these universes that are able to transport you to somewhere else. So to be a part of that from the get-go and just follow it through is something you really can't miss.